Okay. Did you guys imagine a life without cell phones? No Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Tumblr, none of that? Well, I can see by your face. <laughs> no way. But uh, the thing is that it's a problem that people can't imagine life without cell phones, and I believe that people have become too overly dependent on cell phones. And the fact that people are overly dependent on cell phones has a negative effect on society. And the reason that I believe it has a negative effect on society is because of a decreased social skills amongst people, as well as possible medical problems and uh, cell phone addiction, as well as uh, the dangers of driving while texting. Well, I agree that cell phones definitely have some positive effect on our society. Obviously, we use them to stay connected to everybody. Uh, they help us with emergencies when we need it, but I believe cell phones are also too much of a good thing, or at least that's how we're using them. And uh, according to psychology today, for something to be considered an addiction, the user has to get something in return for it. And I believe that in cell phone addiction, that people like to feel connected to everybody as well as they use when they use social media like Facebook and all that and they post stuff, they like to get the likes and stuff. Um, I didn't find anything that actually said people are addicted to cell phones, but from observations that I've made, like the fact that if you were to lose your cell phone, or at least when I've lost my cell phone, people tend to panic or freak out or <coughs> their whole day is ruined by losing their cell phone. And the fact that one thing, like losing your cell phone could ruin your whole day, uh, I think that's a good indicator that people might be overly attached to things. And another reason that people could be addicted to their cell phones is that, uh, I know I've had it happen to me, but I leave my phone on vibrate, and when your phone's not in your pocket, you get that phantom vibrate, and you realize there's nothing there. Uh, if your mind is making <laughs> stuff up, uh, when there's nothing there, I also think that's a good indicator that uh, people might have a problem. Um, also, a number from Psychology Today says that the average college student checks their phone 60 times per day and also receives and sends 109 text messages per day. Uh, that wasn't linking it to cell phone addiction, but I definitely think that those numbers could possibly prove that people are overly dependent on their cell phones. And uh, how could this cell phone, possible cell phone addiction, affect society? I believe that uh, it has caused a decrease in social skills amongst people our age, as well as more so the younger generation. Like my brother has had his cell phone, he's 14 and has had his cell phone for six years now. And kids are getting cell phones at age five, six, seven, and that's just crazy to me, but I don't know, maybe I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, kids turn to their cell phones as avoidance tools more so, just as we do. Like when we're in an elevator or walking amongst other people, to avoid any awkward situation, the first thing that we do is yank out our cell phone to avoid any possible interaction with people. And uh, Melissa Ortega of the Children's Institute of New York states that kids don't know how to face, uh, have face to face conflicts anymore because of the constant checking of cell phones and the fact that they could just use that as an escaping mechanism. Um, so, um, and not only has uh, cell phones made people less uh, interactive with each other, but they've also had a negative effect on kids' creativity. Um, the Huffington Post states that uh, children are less creative now because any downtime is just uh, used with their cell phones. And I remember when I was a kid, we'd always tell stories, make up stories. But I feel that kids these days, and uh, even my friends, they just use YouTube to show what they're trying to convey instead of using their imagination and whatnot. But, uh, and is all this cell phone use even healthy? Um, my guess would be probably not, and I'm sure all of you have heard the rumor that cell phones cause cancer, but that has been debunked and that's not the case. But there has been evidence 
that states that cell phones could cause possible long-term use in arthritis and carpal tunnel. Um, I believe that's from WebMD. And um, because our hands weren't made to make such small movements so often, and I believe that's the reason why those cause those things. But also, um, on the show True Life on MTV, there's an episode where this high school girl had to get surgery on her hands because she texted so much. And, I mean, that's just a little crazy. But, um, <coughs> cell phones have also been shown to uh, disturb sleep habits. I know that I've spent a couple nights where I've just texted until I fell asleep and then my phone sometimes still right next to me. And uh, it's the light that has been proven to show uh, sleep disturbances, and that's also from what we do. And uh, maybe this is just my issue, but I've sleep texted. Have any of you ever sleep texted? <laughs> yeah? Uh, what did you, did you send any embarrassing things? <coughs> like full on conversations. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the same things happened to me too, and it's just, <coughs> luckily I didn't send any bad things. It was just to my friends, like, hey, what's up? But the fact that you're texting in your sleep, or at least I was, I view that as a negative uh, side effect of cell phones. And um, uh, not only can cell phones have medical implications, but uh, they do in fact kill people um, according to, who was it according to, I want to say HowStuffWorks.com, they say that in 2008, 6,000 people were killed due to texting while driving, and over half a million people were just injured while texting while driving. Um, it is proven that texting while driving is more dangerous than drinking and driving. Uh, it, according to HowStuffWorks.com as well, it says that when you're drunk, it takes an extra four feet to break from whatever you're trying to break from, but when you're texting and driving, it takes a different additional 70 feet to break. And that difference could be, 70 feet's a big number, like you could totally hit something from that. Um, so I've described to you why cell phones could be bad. I don't expect anyone to drop their cell phone because we all have them. But what I would hope is maybe that you would think about how often you use your cell phone and the negative implications that they may have. Thank you. Claudia, let us know what you thought. I thought that, the, that your introduction was good. The topic was great and something that everyone can relate to because pretty much everyone does have a cell phone. Um, I think that your way that you presented, this, um, presented your speech was um, great. You kept eye contact. You, com you pretty much communicated with the audience. And you tried to make conversation with the co uh, audience. Um, Sometimes when you would look down at your index cards, you would just like your tone would just lower down, and then when you would look up, your you would just um, get louder. Uh, your con I pretty I just thought that your speech was great because like I said, it's really relatable and something that everyone just has. Okay, uh, I like the visualization at the beginning. I think your point of view is clear. Uh, we've got a pretty good structure that you set up, uh, so we know. Uh, where you're headed. Internally, I think you have some good uh, summaries as you're moving from one point to the next, so that makes it relatively easy to follow. Um, there are a couple of times when information ran a little bit together, but usually you corrected it in the next point, and so even if I got momentarily lost, I was usually back on track uh, by the time the next point came up, and so it was hardly noticeable at all. I think you did a pretty good job providing us with some data, although I do think some of the data needs a little bit more specific context or reference. So, for instance, uh, you mentioned um, 
6,000 people dying while texting. I'd like to know where that number came from. I, I know you gave me a source citation, <laughs> uh, but how did they, you know, I think it was How Stuff Works or one of those sources like that that you gave us the information. Where did they figure this out from? I mean, what's it based on? Because that seems like a, it's a pretty high number. I'm not saying it's not true, but I'm just saying, is that worldwide or is that in the United States? If it's in the United States, that means it's a third of all <laughs> these accidents that we were talking about before. So if we wore our seatbelts and uh, stopped texting, nobody would be dying on the highways. You know, that sort of thing. Um, the uh, same thing with the reference to the surgery that you heard about or saw on MTV. If you could get us a more specific reference on it, it seems like it's a passing casual reference that you make there. And I think if you could give us a context, tell us a story, here's where it was reported on the MTV show, here's you know the name of the person, that sort of thing. Give it, I, it's, it goes from me, I think you need to move it from being a, a specific instance to being a full-blown example, and I think it would work better then for you. Uh, but those kinds of things I think are pretty good. I, I agree that you use a subject here that people are familiar with, you've got a lot of easy things that people can relate to and that keeps people involved. Uh, the delivery, I think, is is very solid for the most part. Um, your eye contact is excellent. Uh, you you look confident when you're standing there. Thank you for putting on the tie today. You know you look uh, very nice while you're up there giving the speech. You're like you knew that you were going to be giving a speech today. Maybe sometimes a little bit more energy. I once again, it's early in the morning, and I know sometimes people are a little hesitant to do that, but. It's early in the morning and I need to be awake too, so you know, I, I don't think you need to be slamming the tables and shouting at the top of your lungs, but I, I, you don't want to sleepwalk through. It, not that you did that, but like I said, maybe a little bit of extra push there would, uh, would help. All right.